Welcome to Mad Tech Daily. I'm your host, Dot, and today we're diving into some major shifts in the media and ad tech landscape. First up, WPP Media has just unveiled what they're calling Open Intelligence, the advertising industry's first large marketing model. Drawing inspiration from those large language models everyone's talking about, this new data solution aims to predict audience behavior and marketing performance by crunching massive data sets. It basically lets brands train custom models, optimize their audience targeting, and deliver super personalized campaigns without wasting resources. Matt Benethan from Lumen Research called this a tectonic shift away from IDs that have restricted our industry for years. Speaking of WPP Media, Paramount also has just ended their decades-long relationship with the group as part of broader cost-cutting tied to their proposed merger with Skydance Media. Publicis is stepping in as their new media agency partner, and sources say this switch completely skipped the traditional review process. This move is being framed as a strategic decision to drive efficiency. On a brighter note for Paramount, their streaming service Paramount Plus posted the highest user growth among UK SVOD platforms in Q1, adding 430,000 new homes to reach 3.1 million. That's now 10.5% of UK households, a pretty impressive 16% quarter-on-quarter increase. Apparently, shows like the second season of 1923 and Yellowstone are driving this growth. In other news... Both Disney and Microsoft are cutting more jobs as they restructure around AI. Disney's trimming several hundred positions across film and TV units, while Microsoft is cutting over 300 employees on top of the 6,000 layoffs they announced last month. It's part of a wider trend we're seeing in big tech. Companies are pouring money into AI while reducing headcount in what they consider non-core areas. That's all for today's Mad Tech Daily. I'm Dot, and I'll catch you tomorrow with more insights from the ever-evolving world of media and ad tech.